We pass the warm greeting from uh, Governor His Excellency Paul Simbarati, who is out on official uh, duties that are very significant to the nation, and for that reason, he was not able to be with us. Tafadali Kubali Salam Zaki. But trust me, he's well briefed on all the proceedings that have been in this uh, county. Allow me then to read his speech, and I'm sure I do not tire you because he really recognizes and appreciates the really good work you've done. Speech, and allow me to read it. KSSA team, led by the National Chairman, Kipchumbara Mayo, officials for the Ministry of Education, led by the Director General, Mr. Abdi, KMUT, Kesha, and other stakeholders, county officials present, the technical committee for this event, various teams and officials and teachers and all participants and all our dear students, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to officiate the closing ceremony for this year's Kenya Secondary School Sports Association National Championships which have been held here in Kisi County. Remarkably, for the last five days, we have witnessed a true display of talent among our bad in sports persons who are in secondary schools. I take this opportunity to thank the participants and teams for their hard work, dedication and commitment in perfecting their talent to the extent we have seen in our county. I wish those who proceed the East African competitions the best of luck and success in lifting the Kenyan flag high. Once again, I thank the KSSA leadership and the Minister of Education for considering Kisi as the host of this important event and the commit that the county government of Kisi is always willing to partner with you. It is important to note that this event has progressed well since last Sunday, despite one ugly incident witnessed here at the Busi Stadium two days ago. This will not be allowed to recur again. However, while condemning the hooliganism and the vandalism which took place in one of the matches, I wish to state that in the competition, there is always a winner and a loser in that spirit. And that's why we say, as Yekubali Kushindwa, Sim Shindan. Let me therefore advise our youth against violent reactions and radicalism in sports, which is otherwise a leisure and friendly activity. Ball games, ladies and gentlemen, unite continents, United States and United Communities. Equally, it is a coincidence that today's ceremony falls on the touted Nane Nane demonstrations. Whereas it's a constitutional right to picket and demonstrate, I urge that the same is done in a peaceful manner, devoid of dis 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 disruptions and loss of lives. And seeing some of the schools, delegations will be traveling back to their homes in various parts of the country, I pray that peace prevail so that they enjoy their safe, tra safe travel back to their various destinations. Finally, I take this opportunity to remind the students to continue working hard in sports and classwork too and avoid indulging in activities that do not foster their education. I appeal the parents, teachers and guardians to hold the hands of the young ones and encourage them to engage in sports as a means to employment in future. With those few remarks, Chief Guest, I wish you Johnny Massey's home and look forward to host you again. Those who are the remarks of His Excellency, and in two minutes,